as Scots, we're shortly to be at another crossroads on our road to independence. And here we are, standing next to this cairn, in memory of two of the most passionate Scottish visionaries and patriots, William Wallace and Robert Burns. Both men living 500 years apart will be forever synonymous with Scottish patriotism and the land. They both found shelter and inspiration on this very Ayrshire estate, Auchincroof. John Miller Hanna was a member of the Ayr Burns Club. He was also a potato farmer from Garvin Mains and he gifted this very land that the Cairn sits upon. This is a story about this man's vision and legacy for the farming community of the west of Scotland. So as you said earlier, you have been here for 40 years. Yes. What does Auchincroof mean to you? Well, I mean, basically it just means it's a tremendous place to work. And the guys that are helping just volunteer have been absolutely brilliant. They've been getting right into it and they're chatting away saying how how important they find this um, charity. So what are you guys up here for? Uh, we're up from Munro Larish, uh, based down in Turnhill in Shropshire. Uh, we're up here to help with the gardening leave. Um, it helps ex-servicemen, servicewomen. The veterans themselves just saying how peaceful this area is, and it is, it's absolutely gorgeous. It really has brought these people back to life. See, once they've laid the egg, do they not die after this? Our salmon, our salmon don't. They, they, they spawn and they go back to sea. Um, Pacific salmon, um, which are the North America and all yeah. that, once they spawn, they die. My dad um, would be very disappointed in my knowledge of fish there. <laughs> Tomato houses. Here? Yes. What was there? Between that top wall and the bottom wall was, was a, a glass house, all right. of the bits of research and development. Mm -hmm. Uh, within the garden as well. Making a difference. And uh, growers would come here for conferences. And, yeah. And, and my, um, my boyfriend's grandpa, you guys could get stuck in a room and just chat for the oh whole right. afternoon. Oh right. He's got his own small holding. Oh right. Down, it's like a kind of green belt at Hertfordshire kind of way. Oh right. And um, <coughs> he moved in there after the war in a caravan, built a house for five grand, so it didn't pay for the land at all. Yes. Built a house for yes. five grand, still there, and oh, he's got a little um, or or I can't speak anymore. Or orchard. orchard. If John Hanna was to come back here today, what would he see? He would see a beautiful estate that has been tended to and looked after over the years. He would find many SAC staff still working here in research and consultancy. He would see the amazing restoration work in the gardens and soon to start in Oswald Hall. However, he would find no students based here. So what does the future hold for Auchengroof? We've heard both sides of the argument, so I think we should just wait and see. <laughs>